As human beings, we can be very strong and healthy, but sometimes we're fragile and can get sick very easily. Sickness can be related to many things, like our genes, habits, stress, or diet. And once sickness occurs, people usually see the doctor, take medicine, and may receive many kinds of advanced medical treatment. However, different from the contemporary medicine, a medicine that has evolved in China over 2,500 years is still active nowadays, and has also been practiced widely in the United States. Angelica Koklas, who was born in Greece and studied traditional medicine in China for 10 years, is now a clinician with training and expertise in both Eastern and Western medicine. Her journey to China was motivated by her childhood experience with epileptic seizures. It's a disease that she was suffered from since she was three, was eventually cured by following a vegetarian diet and eating herbs. There are many ways to healing. There is not only one way. So coming from a Western civilization, open-minded with trying different herbal therapies, I wanted to study more about herbs. And I found out that only China had a complete pharmacopoeia of 7,000 individual herbs with millions of combinations. You don't believe what you just someone tells you, but you have to investigate. And unless you go to the source, you don't learn things. My journey started when I was 14, basically to, to explore China and the civilization that is much older than the Greek civilization by about a thousand years. After spending 10 years in China, Angelica moved to America to start her career of acupuncture, which is a well-known and important part of traditional Chinese medicine. I attended the Peking Medical University uh, in the 80s, and I graduated with a degree in surgery and medicine, and I did uh, my postdoc work in acupuncture um, at the Beijing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Acupuncture involves pricking the skin with the needles by following the meridian system. The meridian system, known as qi, is believed by the Chinese to be a path of life energy that flows through the human body. Every living organism, from the plankton in the ocean to the humans and the elephants are the animal kingdom. We all have energy. The energy, according to the Chinese, circulates throughout the meridians on a vicious, specific cycle. Once that cycle is disturbed, the body becomes sick. As people watch many Chinese action movies, they may relate qi with martial arts. Chinese films are known to exaggerate qi and its techniques, and many people have questioned whether qi really exists. The way that the Chinese came to find out about those energies is paying attention to their body. They meditated a lot they became so deep involved in meditation that they were able to slow down their heart rate, they were able to increase or decrease their breathing, and by moving that energy in specific cycles, they were able to determine how the energy flow goes. So acupuncture, the way it works, scientifically, there are nerve endings, and there are specific areas in the body that when we stimulate them at between 2 hertz to 50 or 2 to 100, you can really send that message from the body part to the brain and get that chemical release in the blood. So there's no doubt that acupuncture works. The constant stimulation, as Angelica said, is a small box that can generate an electric pulse to the nerves in our body. If I can't move past this before I come in, and now I can move up here, that's quantitative. That's scientific. That, it works, okay? It's not because I'm telling myself I can do it. David had injuries on his knee and shoulder after being attacked by a bear in Yellowstone National Park. I kind of looked to see where I could possibly find some protection, and that was enough for the bear to trigger on me. And he came by me and smacked me. After seeing doctors and trying different treatment, David's frozen shoulder was still unresolved until he met with Angelica. I've had like 12 treatments, but I'm completely, the shoulder's unfrozen. 
I can do everything with it again. Julie is a registered nurse working at a hospice as well as palliative care. I was uh, getting therapy for uh, stomach, it wasn't stomach cancer, it was uh, abnormal cells. I was getting radiation, I was sick, I was throwing up, uh, I was miserable. And as I was finishing that treatment, yes, and as I finished that treatment, um, I had my yearly mastectomy and they had found uh, something there. So on my last day of treatment for my stomach, I was going up to Indianapolis to um, have biopsies of the breast and the breast did come also came back as cancer. So I came in to see Angelica because what was going on in my life was, was not working. And she said, in three months, you will be amazed how you feel. And I lost 43 pounds. I changed my diet, I changed everything. And with uh, the supplements and my acupuncture, just things started to turn. The human body is like a working machine with every part communicating and delivering messages through the nervous system. If any part of the machine were to break down, the whole system would stop functioning. Without knowing which one is the problematic part, no matter how hard you try to fix the situation, it won't resolve the real issue. I will take their pulses, I will look at their tongue, at this uh, self-assessment health profile, and uh, it has a lot of uh, different patterns. It makes a big difference for me to help me with my diagnosis. I check their body, their mind, and their spirit. And the questionnaire that I have, that they fill out, has specific questions that lead me to understand if they have a spiritual disturbance, mental disturbance or just a physical problem. So she has a, a form, an application, a health form that you have to fill out. There's a lot of things on the health form that don't make any sense to me as, as, as a nurse. And, and I filled it out and I came in and she looked at me and she told me what was wrong with me and um, I thought that, that, that doesn't even really make any sense to me. I don't know what you mean about that. And she said, well you take this and you take this and you take this and you come back. Okay, I will, because I didn't have a choice. She looked at me, she says, move myself around, and she says, oh, I know exactly what it is, and I said, that's odd. <laughs> During the therapy that Angelica gives her patients, pricking the needles into their bodies seemed to be very easy. One, two, three. It's no worse than getting a shot, a flu shot, or blood drawn, it's just, it's a very short time period. It's a, it's a sh small window of discomfort. I do not like needles. As a nurse, I can poke people, um, but I don't like to get poked. Um, and I thought, oh, and it isn't. Um, there'll be, it's not even a discomfort. It almost feels like a slight pressure. Um, and as I lay and relax, the pressure, it, it starts to dissipate and it starts to move out so that when she takes the needle out, the pain is, is just much relieved. According to Angelica's experience at school, only after you practice for thousands and thousands of times will you become qualified as a professional acupuncture practitioner. I practice on myself first. From the lemon, you graduate to yourself, and when you can put the needle in and you do not have any pain, then you know you're good enough to do it to somebody else. You have to memorize the points, the meridians, the way everything, yeah, you have to do that. Two Purdue students, John and Sarah, volunteered to try acupuncture. Ac you're, you're the one who read about it. What does acupuncture do Is it besides pain? Does it do stuff about Everything that I've read is, I don't know, it's kind of like, kind of yeah. creeps me out. But it's like a, it's something with your like energy levels and balancing okay. you. After discussing and reading through the paperwork that the two students had filled out, Angelica decided that it was not a good time to give them the acupuncture treatment. There, for you, it's a killer. And I'm telling you, and you still want to think about it. <laughs> so how can we change the mentality of the American people to be healthy is my question. My question to you is, how can I change your mind for you to do the right thing for you. It's got the problem that willingly is happening to her because she likes the dairy. And I understand that you like dairy. And I am not gonna change you. 
but you're gonna have problems for the rest of your life unless you change your ways of doing it. Th th this is it. We have excellent herbs to help cleanse the phlegminous system and heal the gut. But if you keep giving it and feeding it all those foods that they do not agree with your digestion, plus you don't take any lactate or anything that aids the digestion of that, then we're not really going anywhere. Uh, I tell them they will either like me or they will hate me because uh, there is not in between. Uh, it's either you follow the protocol and the program and in three months you're guaranteed to have results or you just don't take my time and waste your time if you do not want to follow my advice. Although students didn't get an acupuncture treatment, Angelica gave them a demonstration to show them how acupuncture works on their bodies. It's demonstration, so nothing, nothing is going to be... Yeah, that's it. Just relax, breathe in. You're phobic and you're able to do it. Would you recommend it for someone who is afraid of needles? I don't I don't think this is the Can you feel it's moving? Yeah, I know it's moving, I'm not. But you're not controlling it. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. Okay. Thank you for telling me because we don't want you to You're feeling dizzy? A little bit. Because it moves it's something, right? It moves the cheese. Not you, him. He called me a baby. Don't, Jesus. <laughs> Angelica went to vet school at Purdue University on April 23rd and did a presentation on Chinese traditional medicine in front of the students and the faculty. And. And you just stay where you are. You need to really expand your horizons and learn more. For Angelica, it has always been her dream to discover an opportunity to combine Western medicine and Eastern medicine for the benefits of all the patients. I want to study Chinese medicine as part of my education because I want to be able to help people and give them options as a Greek in the West. And I want to blend East and West. Western medicine is very black and white. Um, You've got your tests, you've got your labs, you've got your medicine, you've got your side effects. I think we're too quick to put things into our bodies now instead of helping our bodies naturally. The, the body has a sense of how to heal itself with a little help. You, you, you don't have to, to believe or to think or change the way you think. If something works, I will try it. If we do not read and we say it doesn't exist because I don't know about it, that's not fair for not just Chinese medicine, for medicine. So, so I agree with that.